Lieberman suggests early elections rather than changing the coalition. U.S. Senator Menendez accuses Iran of plotting in the back room. Notes to God are removed from the wall as Jerusalem readies for Pesach. And IDF soldiers strut their b-boy skills in Jerusalem. Shalom. Welcome to the Jerusalem Post News, our top stories for Monday, April 7th. Speaking at the annual Jerusalem Post conference in New York on Sunday, Foreign Minister Avigdor Lieberman became the first high-profile figure in Prime Minister Netanyahu's coalition to publicly suggest a need for new elections as opposed to altering the coalition or returning to the peace talks deal requiring Israel to release Palestinian security prisoners. Uh, one option, as I mentioned, it's... Uh back to the package deal, include our readiness to release uh, terrorists. The second option, it's, uh, you know, a new coalition. I saw some uh, people, some uh, journalists, some speculations about a new coalition. And of course, the third option, it's new elections. And uh, I don't see him personally, and our position, it's impossible to go back, as I mentioned, to the, uh, to the package deal and to release the terrorists. The second option, it's also new coalition, it's not option for us. And to really, to clarify our position, we will prefer new elections, but not a package deal and not new coalition. The Yisrael Betanu party leader said he opposes a plan by Likud and Bayut Yehudi ministers to try to replace the Yeshatid and Hatnua parties with the Labour and Haredi parties inside the coalition. Netanyahu told ministers on Sunday that there are initiatives on the left trying to form a left-wing coalition without him and the Likud Betanu party. Opposition leader Isaac Herzog responded to Lieberman's comment, saying new elections would offer hope rather than be a threat. And today he called on Hatnua and Yeshatid to leave the government amid the collapsing peace talks to form a centre-left coalition with his Labour Party. Senator Robert Menendez, who chairs the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee and is the author of the latest sanctions bill aimed at Iran should the P5 plus 1 talks fail, expressed skepticism at the Jerusalem Post conference that the world powers would be able to forge a comprehensive agreement with Iran towards curbing its nuclear program. Today, Iran is actively sponsoring the proxy war in Syria, sending money, weapons, and fighters every week, no, every day. Simultaneously, it's cultivating terrorist networks in Iraq, Bahrain, Yemen, and beyond as an insurance policy against any country that may challenge it. They're sending missile shipments to Gaza and testing new missile systems. Make no mistake, while they are smiling at our negotiators across the table, they are plotting in the back room, and we must keep that in mind. Menendez defended his sanctions bill once again on Sunday, but stopped short of renewing his call for a swift vote in the, in the U.S. Senate. The bill has 59 co-sponsors, but is thought unlikely to reach the floor for debate. U.S. President Barack Obama threatened to veto the bill in January, arguing its passage risks fraying international consensus among the world powers. Talks between the P5 plus one powers and Iran are to resume this week in Vienna. Thousands of notes to God written by worshippers and put into the cracks and crevices of the Western Wall have now been cleared out to make space for prayers at Passover. The notes are collected from the wall twice a year and buried. Sticks are used to prevent damage to the ancient stones, extracting thousands of small pieces of paper from the wall cracks. The holy site is visited by millions of people each year, many of whom press notes inside, but some letters are also sent by fax or email for a small fee. The wall's rabbi, Shmuel Rabbi says he places hundreds of letters a year in, into the wall, which were received by the post office addressed simply to God in Jerusalem. And we leave you with these soldiers who know how to strut their stuff while waiting for the bus in Jerusalem.
Radio.